<laughs> My hair's going crazy. Okay. If you have a whole lot of money and want to build something big in Halifax, well, you might want to check out this video first. Downtown Halifax has a citadel at its highest point, and back in its early history, it would look over the harbor for any signs of enemies, namely the French or the Americans. Today, these views are protected by law, implicating height limits on 140 acres of land downtown. They consist of 10 view planes from four different viewing locations, which include views of George's Island, the McDonald Bridge, the Central Harbor, and many more. Now this creates some interesting scenarios. The Bell Alliant building, for example, is built on a particular angle to preserve the view to George's Island. This is also the case with the Convention Center, the Scotiabank Center, and pretty much any other development that comes within the jurisdiction of these view planes. It's why some areas are allowed to build up, and why others are not. The Citadel itself never really saw any military action, but its views have remained today as somewhat sacred vistas to the water. It wasn't until the 60s that we really considered protecting them. Though. In 1964, the Centennial Building was constructed and became the first structure to block some of the views to the water from the Citadel. This was followed by the Royal Bank Building in 1968 and the Bank of Montreal behind it in 1971, which made sure to build four stories higher than its neighbor so that the building could be viewed from the Citadel. It was eventually the controversial development of Scotia Square and the Citadel Inn that triggered several studies on protecting view planes. Now, this idea wasn't supported by everyone. In fact, many, including developers and planners, opposed protecting view plans. Taller buildings made financial sense for expensive land, and would also bring in larger tax returns for the city. However, much pressure from the general public eventually saw the view plans being protected by law in 1974. Today we continue to honor the Citadel view planes, sometimes excessively, and yes, perhaps it might seem trivial to some that we're protecting what are essentially views, but I think what's been decided is that these views are something that you would associate with Halifax's identity. They're something that shouldn't be tampered with or treated like an advertising space. And in return, they've physically shaped our city. So think about that next time you're up here. We're Planifax, and as many have said, you don't know what you've got until it's gone. I never wanted to say